96 cylinders there. Marmon was the only other manufacturer that made a V16. Here's Arrow uh, with a 12, uh, Lincoln with a V12, and Cadillac won its superiority, and obviously to the rest of the world and letting them know that America was the best in the big class here. And a big sponsor class. By our, this is going to be presented by our friend King Ken Lingenfelter from Lingenfelter. Our next three cars that are coming are the recipients of the For our next section here, we're proud to bring together the fusion. In this initiative, we partnered with local modeling agencies. Seven Stone brought in three local fashion designers, and you'll see Parsons School of Design and Project Runway. Jim's car is another name. You heard the name Model 60. That refers. Our next class, American Power, Foreign Styling. Ron Ellenbass from Richland, Michigan. Thank you so much for bringing it. This is really an over the top automobile. First of all, you have unfortunately met a rather untimely. Uh, Paul's Italia is one of 26 that were built. The Hudson Italia was the uh, BMW Motorcycles of Southeast Michigan. Chicago's. They're really exotic bikes. Very now on the. All right, our next class here is Jazz Age. The judges for this class were Wes Peterson, Maggie DeBellis, and Jennifer Kraska. There's so a pretty big one, and we had three winners, so one best in class and two Lion Awards. Our first Lion Award is this 1950. Our next class coming up over the rise, Americans and two Lion Awards. Our first Lion Award is to us from Kalamazoo, Michigan. Our next Lion Award, 19. Many of the cars that you're all seeing on here. Well said. Next class, Peterson, Bill Dries, Earl Lucas, 37 Packard, 1507, Dave and Linda Kane from Bernardsville, New Jersey. Like you work out by moving the top up and down. Yes. Miller, Russell Glace, and Sharon Gauchi. There were seven around the C8 that is staged and ready to come in and see us. Our next class, European Classic, and one winner. Best in class. Kind of a step up, if you want to call it that, from the MGs of the era. This one's perhaps. Our next class, if you can see it, probably no big surprise, the Auburn Ford uh, Sponsor Award. Classic and Exotic Services. They're gonna, we're going to bring up three class, the Eastburn class, and then we're going to do the Gordon Are honoring our collector of the year, Mr. John Grondike from Oklahoma. You heard me talk about the V16 and to see five of them here today. I was corrected. You're going to get to see six of them here today, Cadillacs. Starting with the two-tone burnt orange car. Uh, this, I think, is a great car. That was a tough, tough class. I don't think we could have kept them from doing it. I think it's really great that we were able to land on a best in this class Corvette, but we're going to have the brand new, just released C8 of everyone everyone's going to get a good look at it motion lives in this car it is absolutely the unveiling of this car uh, here in the u.s so you're getting to see it just out of the wrapper is that not great looking wow thank you so much yeah. this microphone smells fantastic Okay, let's get back to playing cars. Sir Jim Quinlan, if Mr. Quinlan would please stand, we'd like to give him a round of applause and acknowledge him. I really, I'm, the difference is, Brad, I'm old enough to remember it as a kid very well, who she was. 
All right, coming up here, we've got the American popular class. 64, six, uh, 60 special, and you're gonna have what we call bladed fenders, and then you have the fins. Like, as the fin crates, they kind of run, it's, uh, All right, present on the here. What we have here in front of us is the 1910 Stoddard Smack by this one earlier, I believe. Brad and I were walking the field this morning and our... So what we have here is the Ferrari Late Class. F40 is absolutely a cornerstone of, of any collection. Uh, it was stupendous. I'm jealous. Well, I mean, it drives like a normal car until you put your foot in it, then your eyeballs peel back out of the back of your head. It's phenomenal. All right, our next front call scheme. We had 17 cars in this class. Oh, that's a lot of okay, European post-war class, judged by Seward Reed, Guy Zavinovich, Joe Boniface. We had 11 cars in the class. G B20 GT, Margaret and Michael Simcoe. Lancia, it is a Lancia. Uh, today, this is kind of an obscure company, part of Fiat talk about is in the, really in the 30s, 40s, and 50s, Lancia was a very, very... Hey, Rick. All right, modern collectibles. The I addition to their Philadelphia facility have one here in Pontiac, we urge you to stop by and visit. If you're, if you're quiet, you can hear those twin turbos spooling up. <laughs> there it is. Okay. Best use of color. This is another special award we've got coming up here. Judge by, presented by Brian Poor, most outstanding interior. The judges for this were Teresa hey, Sabrina Class. The judges were Wayne Cherry, Jim Hefner, Todd Lassa. Another big class here. About the cars, but after all these years, it's really about the people. So this year, we would like to present the Spirit of the Hobby. Maybe big surprise in who sponsored it for most significant Ford by Ford Motor Company. It will be presented by Maury Callum. This is the 1969 Foundation presented by Frank Capagnale. 100C, owned by Don Bernstein and Patty Taylor from Clark Summit. Frank Capagnale. 1930 Cadillac 452 from Gallery 260 Limited in Toronto. Foundation, presented again by Frank Capagnale. 1942, where is this coming up here? The judge for this was Jonathan Stein, who's no stranger to this arena. What we have is the 1927 Rolls-Royce Phantom.